Like, cause I just learned that laughs is equivalent to claps. It's like claps is like as good as a laugh. Sometimes yeah. we popping some sh real shit. Oh man, people clap. It's like it's like getting a laugh. Yeah, I've been experiencing it for the first time. I'm like, I like this shit. Some of, some of my I, I've been working on my hour and one of the jokes it, that's my ending jokes is one of the things that I'm trying to make even funnier. So I get laughs, but I get awes. Mm -hmm. But this joke that I end on right now has been making people stand up. And mm. I've I've could be you know I could be funny in other places and all this stuff, but the way my stuff goes, uh, I guess because it's so relatable, mm -hmm. that it makes people go, oh man, that was amazing. Ooh, I'm ready That's to good, start yeah. the episode right now. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, it's the Cali Kickback man. You understand me? It's your boy Lewis Belt. Feel me? We back at it again. You understand me? Christi Christina Mack in the building. I'm talking about <laughs> how you feeling, girl? I feel great. You feeling good? Yeah. We got a special guest in the building right now. You feel me? Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all have seen her on Netflix, you understand me? She part of the 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 legendary and famous family, the Wangs. The what? The Wangs. The the Wangs? The Wangs, like right? Chicken Wangs? <laughs> so, oh, this dude sound like I'm putting the E You sound like Wangs. Wangs. Yeah, wangs. Big Wangs. Well, y'all, y'all legendary Wangs in the Wangs. <laughs> Am I saying it right? It's Wayans. Wayans? Yeah. No, you see, there you go. You, Ooh, you the Wayans brothers. And I'm saying Wayne? Yeah, man, you messed it all I that. think I was saying that too. You were saying it too, huh? Wayne's brothers. Damn, this Wayne's respect. brothers. Wayne. How, that's why I say y'all young. Y'all young in these so streets. So give it to us again. Give it to no, us it's again. It's Wayans. The Wayans. Wayans. Uh, but. Like Way Hen. Like Wayne. Like what? Yeah. Why you had to go to the street? <laughs> like Wayne. <laughs> yeah, like Shantae like, like, Wayans. Yeah, they got <laughs> Come on, give her a pause for Shantae Wayans. <laughs> I did the whole episode. I wonder uh I wonder if everybody do probably mispronounce the I Wayans. know I've been doing that as long as I can remember. I thought it was the Wayne's brothers. No, well, I mean, yeah, but there's a whole lot more attached to that. It's, it is. You said it right though. Oh, okay. Yeah, you said okay. it right. It's just some people really spell it differently. That's that be the biggest thing because it's like you know I'll tell people hey make sure you follow me at C Wayne C W A and they're like I'm not a spell Wayne's and they always come out like W A Y N E S yeah. or, uh -huh, yeah. or Winans. Oh, so people know in their head what it's supposed to be, but uh -huh. they always spell it wrong. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Y'all family so legendary. For the people that don't know, um, yeah, we got it. We always got to address that because the name is so. That's like having. I don't even think. Yeah, my name's Christina Mackey, by the way. Yeah. You always say Christina Mack, and I know that's I, a shortcut for you, but let but, him know my name. Okay, you don't like the, you don't like the shortcut? Mack you sound. Can, I you, like saying Mack. You could call me that. Oh. Uh -huh. okay. yeah, I got to say Mackey. <laughs> Mack, yeah, 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 you got to say Mackey. Mackey. I got to say Christina yeah. Mack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I could do that. But since we was correcting, you know, I figured out. Ah. <laughs> no, that's a, hey, that shit is important. Yeah, it is. Because Brandon is everything. Yeah. Oh, mamas. Yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know. I feel like you got a hell of a story, and I know we're going to have fun in here. You know, we're going to pop shit, you know what I'm saying, me. But I do, I have to address, you know what I'm saying, what, where are you placed in the family of the Wayans? Oh man, I'm I'm the third. Let's say I'm like the thirteenth child. No, fourteenth, cause Dwayne. Dwayne's older than me. So we got ten. It's my grandparents, ten kids, uh, and then a bunch of grandkids. But I actually grew up with two other uh, grandkids in that household. Well, in the projects. I thought you was the niece. I am the niece of Marla Oh, I thought Wayans. you meant like what? What number am I? <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, because there's so many of y'all, this shit is yeah, confusing. Yeah, 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 my bad. So, to, to clarify, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm the niece of them, of Marlon King and Damon Sean. Oh, okay. Wow. And do you feel like, um, <laughs> I feel like you being the niece of that, that generation, you came after them, of course. Yeah. And I hear Marlon Wayans talk about it all the time, about, like, how he felt like he had to, like, uh, like prove itself and work so hard to be embraced and fully accepted as like one of the, you know, pillars yeah. in the family. Yeah, do you yeah. feel that? Like, do you feel like you got it harder than Marlon? I, I mean, I, let, let me put it this way. I did before. I, that was a lot of pressure for me before coming in the game and, and putting out my career. And I think when you start building your audience and, and people start rocking with you, you just realize like you don't have to be them. You know what I mean? You don't have to be them. You know, a lot of doors opened up and stuff like that. But I think now, mm -hmm. I think now I've kind of proven myself enough to not feel that 
anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You accomplish a lot in the game. I um, I seen an interview like some years back, and you was on comedy hype, and you was oh, man. and you was talking about your struggles Hate them in niggas. the comedy game. Wow, comedy hype get a lot of uh, negative feedback from the comedians. I don't like uh, put it this way. I was in a dark space when when I did an interview, and I feel I, the truth is they were so positive. It was almost like Teen Summit when they first started, mm -hmm. and then they just got with the how do we how do we uh, get into the the almost Zeus network? You know what I mean? How do mm -hmm. how do we get shady? Oh. And I, 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 they don't really show people in a in a light that I think that they used to. Mm -hmm. mm. So I take it back. I don't hate a lot of people, but I just feel, I feel like they changed and it, they didn't have to. Mm, I didn't heard that from several comedians. Yeah. That's crazy that you vocalized. It's a lot of that. drama. Yeah. 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 Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you know, <laughs> Christina, wrong, Christina, yeah. she's not a comedian at all. She's an artist. She's yeah. Dope. Yeah. And um, you saying. I do. I sing rap engineer. Hey, produce. come on now. So I she don't the, really yeah. be knowing about a lot of comedy shit. I don't, oh, yeah, 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 but um, I, I do pay attention because he's my friend and I like him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think, it's, I think it's dope and I would love to go to that show on Friday. I know I wasn't come invited, through. but oh, mama's <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> yeah, come on through. Yeah, I'm down to laugh always. Yeah, come yeah, through. Yeah, so you, you been, uh, you've been at it consistently. Um, well respected in this industry um, a lot of people might know you from They Ready on yeah. Netflix yeah, yeah. Um, that was like a big that was a big uh, that's a big deal that mm -hmm. was huge man that's huge. right that's huge yeah that, that's that's the way I feel like it's supposed to be done uh, especially when you're at your high point Absolutely. I never understand why people don't want to take people with them mm -hmm. and and not that you gotta help them flourish their entire career but what Tiffany did was put 12 people on not only when we did our season, I don't know about the second season, but with the six comedians she had, she also went to try to develop a show with us. And f just with that, mm -hmm. you 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 know, I I love you for life. I I owe you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 loyalty all day right there. Yeah, no, that that shit that shit was hella dope. Yeah. What uh what's your relationship with Tiffany Haddish? How did that come about? Oh, Tiffany and I, I mean, you know, there was that that circle. You know, I came out to LA as a few girls that uh used to rock together and you know, Tiff Tiff what's funny about Tiffany is um I used I used to be on set. You know, my uncle shows, I'm working behind the scenes and stuff, and then I can go into the casting. So I'll hear about parts that's popping off, and I'll be like, yo, you should come down, and I'll get you in. You know what I mean? Or, and sometimes I'll be going after the same role. But I'll be like, come through, whoever win, win. And it, we just kind of had this, like, ain't no shade, you know what I'm saying? Whoever gets through the door first, whatever the case may be, do it. And I, I remember Tiffany did Girl's Trip, and we knew it popped off. We was in the theater theater full of white people and mm. they stand in ovation i said oh she done she done made it and literally she you know before she said the movie to, came out bef well the movie just came out uh -huh. but it was like you know there's differences like you see people on big screens a lot of times and you're like oh this the one mm -hmm. and it don't ever be the one yeah and then you saw this one you was like oh this this is it and that's exactly what it was but she said like you know when when i get there i i got you and damn, damn and so she, and she kept back. her word kept her word Tiffany always gonna keep her word, whether she like you or not. She gonna always keep her word. Well, I'm gonna hold her to that because yeah. she's supposed to be coming on the Kelly Kickback. I told her she we talked about this oh, shit she so much. She said, "I'm coming, I'm yeah, coming." Yeah. All right. She'll come. <laughs> She'll That's come. Fire. That's dope for yeah. real. That's really yeah. Fire. She did the Ice House shows. You know, I called her. She's like, "I'm coming." Yeah, we was up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Pulled up that you night. pulled up. Yep. You sure did. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. What's more important in this in in the industry? You feel like is it? Most important to be as a comedian to be funny or have good relationships with other comedians. Oh man, I mean, you can't tell where we are in twenty twenty three. That's self explanatory. It's the definitely the relationships. Mm. I don't the relationships can keep you out the door. Yeah, if you don't have the lack of relationships could keep you out the door. I Absolutely, would assume. like you could be so funny, but yeah. nobody fucks with Lou. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, so yeah. like you can't come. <laughs> yeah, but what about how how this stuff be like with social media nowadays? Like a lot of people um, are very popular in doing their thing, 
and got their own fan base from online or whatever. Yeah. And they might not have the same relationship as you, but they might be bigger than you in a sense to people. You fan can only base get wise. so far by yourself. Yeah, but 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 uh, that's what I think. You got to understand, like the legends. There's a lot of people out there, celebrity wise, who didn't like all this stuff when it first started, mm -hmm. and then. You know, like you said, people build their own fan base. They making their money, and at a certain point, you gotta, you go, oh, I gotta accept it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But people, I don't know if you remember when Instagram only had 15 seconds, but people were arguing like, "Yo, you stealing my stuff, wooty woo!" And then you just realize like it don't matter that the fan base will come argue with you, and you be like, "Yo, I did this already." <laughs> so at that point, I feel like I feel like a lot of celebrities and people who had a voice back then that maybe could have stopped it. Uh, made it okay, and that just opened up a different a different what lane. What is it exactly? Well, I'm making it okay to not be funny, to you know, oh. to be, uh, um, yeah, just be hacky, all those yeah. things. And I'm saying that because now they're in videos with these people and they and it's not doing funny. this stuff, but yeah. it's not funny. It's not. And I you, say that all the time. You can't, but I would never hate on somebody making money. There's people yeah. that's millionaires now, right now, off of that. And I think it depends on what you want. There's different levels to this game when you get in it, which is how famous do you want to be? Because that's going to cause a lot of sacrifice. And I'm not just talking about family and stuff like that. You're going to see a whole different world. You're going to have to abide by rules. But that's a whole different level of when I hear people go, I want to be famous, famous. That's different from like, I want to be great. I want to be because you could still be famous. You could you could be an independent artist and have uh, a, a huge fan base and making money, yeah. but be authentically yourself. Mm -hmm. You uh -huh. know what I mean? So uh -huh. so I'm, it's just different levels to it. Can, yeah, okay. Go I was gonna say, can I ask you what's your destination? Like where where do you, if, if everything went your way, and it will, uh, if you allow it, mm -hmm. what is your destination? Uh, I want to be great. I want I want to be considered. You know, I I love creating. I will be. I, I will. Yeah, I will be. Thank you for that. I'm working um, on I just that finished too. this gratitude book too. <laughs> I'm um, working on that. But I, but I will I will be great and I will be creating. I I I'm one of those people. I I like to think of myself like if I could follow anybody's footsteps, it would be my uncle Keenan or Robert mm -hmm. Townsend because I think they you know, build something, but they also was able to envision and see talent. Mm -hmm. And, and that's even greater. Like it, imagine if the network just had the ability to choose uh, the comedians and the actors that was on a living color. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure that show would have kind of went a different way. For sure. But for mm. Keenan to be able to handpick a Jim Carrey or a Jamie Foxx and stuff like that and see the works. Mm -hmm. And that that's what I do. When I go out, I can see somebody bomb on stage, but they're trying, they're saying something. It's just not hitting. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, no, 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 no. You don't yeah, understand. Yeah, that shit funny. You don't <laughs> understand that's funny or, or that's a TV show or stuff like that. So... I just I I will just be creating and developing and to be honest like I don't I don't set those goals mm -hmm. as far as like this is this is all I can be mm -hmm. if I could just be in that field and be creative I'm all game. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because I, I feel like a lot of stuff didn't change because why well, I ask you the relationships are uh, I would say not even say being good just relationships are having um your own fan base online yeah. because it, i feel like um it's a, it's a different time i kind of feel like back in the day it was all about relationships and talent yeah now it's more about how many people you believe i mean how many people believe whatever you're selling yes and you don't even got to know these people like uh, uh tiffany haddish or being hollywood or you don't got to do all of that yeah. you can just do you from where the fuck you at? Yeah, and you don't you don't even got no relations with nobody. But yeah, they, you could be doing your thing. But but there's you could be doing your thing. So here's what's funny to me: there's a lot of people who are doing really well as an influencer. Mm -hmm. Still want to be on Netflix. Still want to billboard. Still want to be on Fox. Still want to be on all these networks that wasn't messing with you, and you built your own thing. And I say this all the time, I think about like the, the independent route where people could stream and Facebook is giving away millions to content creators and you can really sit back and create something golden. Um, uh, but 
Uh, well, uh, I don't know why I had a brain fart. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, and still not be recognized for what it is. Oh, and still not be. So, again, that, that goes on the level of what you want to be. If you built this thing and you're a millionaire, go create your own app or go 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 do something. But the fact that you're still trying to be on Netflix or this or that mm-hmm. shows a lot. Mm-hmm. You, you got 30 million followers, mm-hmm. but you need to be on something bigger that's what the relationship did for you oh so the relationship gives you almost like an escalator route versus having to take the stairs and i believe in taking the stairs because then you fall and you get picked up and then you do it you know you have to really learn do the dirty work basically Mm -hmm. but when you have relationships with people you really are able to take shortcuts and you really are able to get elevated quicker because they can pull you up you can have a million followers but if everybody else who's respected in the game doesn't respect you because you haven't given them their respect yeah i would assume that they'd be like closing doors for you and not necessarily taking food out of your mouth but no, we don't really want to bring him on. It's not taking food out of his mouth. He's going to have to eat how he eats. Yeah. But, you know, you got to pay homage and you have to build these relationships. I was such a, I'm a Virgo, so I'm like, mm-hmm. I could do everything on my own. Mm-hmm. You can't. Yeah. You yeah. can get a lot done on your own and you, you, you're you in charge of the discipline. Like, you can't be taught discipline. You can't be taught consistency. Yeah. That's either something you have or you don't. It's a decision you make. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like, when you have people to pull you up with you. Mm-hmm just you're gonna get Damn. there for sure that's the thing that's the the whole game has changed because there's no loyalty mm-hmm. people are gonna come to you when they see you doing something yeah when they see you going viral all of a sudden yo they liking everything right. they do and the loyalty is just completely gone which is always weird to me because you see this circle happening all the time you don't have to treat people a certain way and i get it I, my mind be all over the place I can't think about everybody and how their well-being is, mm-hmm. but I guarantee you if I do, I got text messages of of people that I just vibed with that I'd be like, yo, man, I hope your mental is cool. Hope you're good. Mm-hmm. And when you start realizing that people ain't feeding that back to you, mm-hmm. the, it just, it's like, I, I don't understand it. But more so, the minute you pop off on something, everybody. all of a sudden, everybody like, so I'm so I believe, I, I knew it. Yeah. I believe. I always in. knew. That should be real for it, sure. It's happening to me right now. <laughs> yeah, so. that shit real. <sighs> yeah, it's, yeah, it sucks because you just don't have to be that way. It's like you can ease in. You know, I think about like gold diggers and stuff. Like you can ease in <laughs> right and get what you want without <laughs> showing. Use your a shade. little finesse. Yeah, <laughs> use a finesse. You don't even know how to come get the bag. You really, just jumped right in. <laughs> yeah, jumped <laughs> right in. A- but I feel like that's better though because finesse hurt. Mm-hmm. Finesse do hurt, but I'm saying like you're showing yourself too soon. Yeah. yeah. Why just come get a Louis bag when you could have got the mansion and the Louis bags and uh, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's like <laughs> you shady for no reason. That's my bar. <laughs> <laughs> that was some game. That was some game. Oh, mamas. Because <laughs> girls do be like, hey, well, why won't you just buy me? If you would have shut up for two more weeks, two I would have bought you two of them. Right. Like, shut up. Because the minute the minute you, you shut up for them two weeks and that person going, damn, she don't she be really talking like that. Nothing. She ain't ask for nothing. She ain't That's why I don't ask for nothing. They say closed mouth don't get fed. I'm going to be fed regardless. Right, uh-huh. right. But if I don't ask him for nothing, I know for sure. Yeah. It's it's good. no that's a fact. Man, it's a y'all fact. so simple. It, it makes no sense to me. Yeah, so simple. It's so simple. You married? Yeah, I'm married. I was just gonna ask. When that. did when did you get married? Uh, for what's today's date? Uh, no, nah, uh, it's May twentieth. May twentieth of mm-hmm. what year? Uh, this year. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh congratulations! I'm a, I'm a fresh locked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just graduated fresh, out I'm of the just street. Got yeah. in. <laughs> First Damn. day in. Yeah, these streets are so bad. It's yeah, there's no place like home. No Stay place home. like home. Let me tell you something. I, I say this. I, I got a unicorn. Uh-huh. My my wife got her own business. Mm-hmm. Can I plug that? He said no. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. No, hell no. Yeah. I, I, I was comprehending like, what you said. No, I was like, no, 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 why the motherfucking Kelly Kim? I don't ever ask. Dirk literally said India's name on a Drake song. Hell yeah. Hilarious. Your wife. I just, every time I mention her, I'm like, let me plug it. But she got her own business, which is uh, natural hair plus body care products, and it's marchenicole.com. Ooh, okay. uh, but she, you know that rhyme? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I like that. I like that rhyme. Not the hair plus body care. You're talking about Now she got ism. Right. Yeah, she got ism. But she does that. Uh, she she cooks. She like being home. She cleans. She do that stuff. Not that I feel like women have to do it, but it's just it's the way she 
has home every time I'm there. Yeah. You know what I mean? No matter how hard her day works and all that stuff. Without so, asking. Without asking, which makes me go, damn, I got to step my game up. I got to do this. I got to do that. Mm-hmm. She's she's a unicorn. Yeah, that. <laughs> What's her sign? Uh, she's a Leo. Oh, Leo and a Gemini. Y'all look crazy. Oh, man. I think we, my mama a Leo. We good. You a Gemini? <laughs> no, nah, I'm a Taurus. Oh, man. Oh, you ain't. Mama. I mean, y'all ain't really bad. I love Taurus. I don't These believe Virgos, that shit. That Virgos are definitely terrible. I know. Why do Why do people so? Beyonce's like, a Virgo. Oh my God, we know. I but she's not crazy. Virgos. Is she crazy? I like. I now that Virgo. Okay. Uh, my birthday is the day after her. So if you like her, you love me. I just think y'all <laughs> think too far, and we y'all do. y'all don't y'all don't really. A lot a lot of Virgos I know don't have accountability. Oh, that's mm, not me. Really? That's yeah. the sign thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I deal with a Virgo, and I be helping her, you know what I'm saying? What? I be, I be helping her, like, <laughs> With baby. the accountability? Yeah, baby. I'm like, what? I, How I old hold, is she? I hold. We 20? the same age. We the same age. 29. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I Look, hold her accountable. I have no me? problem with accountability. When I'm wrong, I'm like, you know what? I was wrong. I'll say it in the moment. I have no problem with accountability. Right, that's not a something. In relationships from. or your friendships? In everything. Yeah, I got to I gotta My see teacher, this. Yeah, we got to see God. this. Tell somebody you know I'm proof. accountable. But in a relationship, I don't that's know. Oh, oh, relationship okay, is okay. completely that's different. different. You know? You're yeah. right. You're right. I said the same thing. Yep. Yeah. I like the honesty, though. Yeah, you're right. I I can make I never understand that. When people... I just did this show and somebody... uh, I was like, who's crazy? And the girl was like, me. Mm -hmm. But I was like, most of the time, the the girl's going to point to the other partner. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think in, in my... I've only had one relationship. In that relationship, he and I would both say that I was crazy, but the things that he was doing was triggering me. But yeah. that's how you know I was crazy because I wasn't able to identify the fact that I'm being triggered and that I need to remove myself. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. When you don't realize somebody is triggering you on and on and on again, mm. and you don't remove yourself, you're crazy. Yeah. So I was crazy. But oh, now, goodness. if I'm being triggered to the point where I want to act as anything that I'm not, yeah, I'm out of the situation. Yeah. I'm out. I'm quick. I'm out. That's a big move. Yeah. Because that was one of the things I was saying, like, you know, sometimes uh, I'm speaking on females because that's what I date. But mm-hmm. sometimes women will complain or nag and it's like either leave mm-hmm. or try to figure out the medium. But anything else is crazy. Anything else is crazy. Yeah. Why are you with me if you know I'm cheating? Yeah. Why are you with me? Why Why are you trying to go through my phone and do all this stuff? And you know what's you in know there. you know I'm cheating. You that's know what's annoying. in there. It's yeah. really just going to make me want to do it more. It, that's a fact. She, yeah, I. I have a video. I said everything you just said. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. I literally no, have that. Fact. It's out already. <laughs> yeah. I said that. Do men do that? Run through women's phones? Y'all can. That's men- not the type of men I date. Yeah, yeah. So. But but I think that when you get a man in love, mm-hmm. that's where it gets touchy. A man in love is on a board of being on one of these murder mystery shows it's just <laughs> hands down and when i'm talking about love i'm talking yeah. about love love yeah like you know what undeniable mean? undeniable like she the one yeah Woo! i know this bitch love me delusional love yeah, delusional love that's that's the difference between being in love and being delusional why love. your girl in jamaica getting her thighs rubbed by them by them masseuses <laughs> by them masseuses <laughs> <laughs> boy what? i'm going you to pay Jamaica. for the trip all right he so so before you was married, right? Yeah. Did it matter that a, a body count of a woman? Do that matter if you're a woman and you dating women? I think I think it, for to me specify it matter- male or women. Yeah, like all right. For instance, like men always talk about women's body count. No, I'm saying her. Like if she, let's say she's dating. Let's Am I the st- you talking about the yeah stud before you or was the yeah yeah before you was dating dating uh, a woman who might have slept with men. Oh, that's what you said. Yeah, I. All right, you gonna give me? Do body counts no, no. matter? Damn, with all, with with all due respect to your women wife, are about to come after me. I I don't like knowing <laughs> that. I, like I never really tried to go after a straight girl. Not saying that I didn't have sex with them, but I'm a, I was at least before I was already like questioning. You know what women are doing with other women, and you know stuff like that. Like, uh-huh. um, so yes, it yes. does matter. Yes, that was the question in the gay yes. community. A woman dating a woman, it still matters if the woman got a high body count or not. Yes, but that can go for the men or female. Even if even if the lesbian has smashed like a lot of studs. The woman smashed it, a lot of studs. A lot of studs okay. is me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> even if the woman is smashed, like whatever it is, you just you just sitting there going like 
You, you, it's not the body count itself. It's the walking in the room going, damn, did you smash my And girl? that's did what you, this shit really be about. I think that's, that's what it's all, about. I think it's all ego. Yeah. All of it's ego. Because you want to walk in, in every, like. In every relationship. Imagine me talking about, it's oh, about I got a white that's a unicorn and then I go in the room and she's like, oh, just to let you know, I smashed that one, that one. I just. Oh, mama. It's <laughs> about exclusivity. Yeah. That's the whole yeah. thing. It's that's what that shit yeah. more about. Yeah. I've said that for years. That's but ridiculous. do that matter for women too? Like, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. I'm not dating a man if he told. I'm not gonna not date a man if he told me like I've had this many. If if if, for, if you were able to catch my attention, uh -huh. there's something about you of quality. I would yeah. assume, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm not gonna be like, okay, in high school he slept with 27 girls, in college he slept with 43, carried the one. <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. But, for a woman, it is different because we have a womb. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, you're inserting something inside. And for yeah. men, it's not that deep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I, that's that's funny you say that because that's where my cycle a lot. Like, it's not like, oh, you just talking to a girl or a man. It's like, I already know how nasty people could be. Yeah. So it's like when you think, of, when you start hearing, like, People know only got AIDS and HIV or, you know, or herpes and stuff and they still smashing. Mm -hmm. You start going like I that's where I can't deal with the body count. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. You know what I mean? But like she said, like, I love giving head. So mm -hmm. I don't want to come outside <laughs> and in the head be <laughs> showing. Bumble. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like on my right. Little bum bum. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, little bumbo. <laughs> like, no, you don't understand. She was fine. She had a fat ass. <laughs> this ain't even that. This is just right. right. <laughs> That's hella funny. Yeah, but if I had a penis, oh man, I'd be in these streets. Yeah, I probably would. It's a married. lovely thing to have a penis. I bet it is. I know. But yeah. see, I'd have burnt my shit out. I was about to say <laughs> I was saying, y'all gotta watch out because a lot of y'all like that shit raw. So, and a lot no, of I really, I of really had a lot of protective sex. A man. lot of y'all have STDs and have no way of knowing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know about these. I know for myself. I'm, <laughs> but see, me, I, I've been a responsible. Not these nuts, but y'all be. Yeah, I've been a responsible thought. You've been a responsible. I done fucked a lot of hoes with condoms. That doesn't so. mean anything, though. You could get crabs and you could get herpes with a condom. Yeah. I see what you're saying. I but see, I don't you know, you can have crabs because they go to what go away. It's it's everything else. And the Are they act, I need to know something about crabs. Is crabs still I out? Crabs. I ain't heard a nigga talking about no crabs in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just wait and watch these. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to speak on that. But you know, what? these crabs yeah. might jump up but on me. What are they? I know they're obviously not little crabs, but what is no, it? No, I think they're like little crabs. Crabs. I think they're. I don't know. Where do they come from? I have so many questions. Are they, I, see, I can't even look at stuff like this. I'm over here looking you at looking? it. Like, I'm trying to My look. My mom's right? going to be like, why were you Googling crabs? Right. Is it like lace or something? <laughs> like like lice, I mean. Lice? Like, that's what I was like, thinking. I don't mm -hmm. know. What exactly? I would freak out for the rest of my life, though, if I saw something crawling on my vagina. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it crazy. would make pubic lice. It's like pubic lice. Also yeah. known as crabs are small parasites ah. that attach to the skin and the hair nearest the general. To be general. honest, I don't even think niggas be thinking about that shit when they fucking. It no. says they're usually pretty easy to get rid no. of. <laughs> the, For real? Swear to God. Well, because you just shave the hair off. Oh, that's what they look like. Ah, I'm not looking. No, no, it's I'm like not. a Let little. It's like a little. Let me see. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that look like a that look like a mosquito or a yeah. fly. That look like the new that's one of the, the mosquitoes they sent out. Damn. So it does look like a little crab. Uh, that's God, nasty. Damn. Thanks. What's the high body count to y'all, Christina? I'm gonna <laughs> ask you first. I mean, anything over one is technically high because <laughs> you like. So you got a high body count. <laughs> Everybody has a high body count. I don't. Think anything that. over one, that's not your. That, that's not a person you've been in a relationship. Anything over a person you've been in a relationship. So however many relationships you've been in, if you have more bodies than that, that's a lot. It is what it is. But it's like, don't make it wrong. Mm, I never heard that opinion. I'm, that's just my opinion. That's yeah. why you never heard it. She but also I'm saying, only been with one person. <laughs> yeah. No, life. no. I haven't only <laughs> been with lying. one person. I never said that. I have oh, I not only, you said been, you only, I've only dated one person. So the fact that I've only been in one committed relationship with that's one person. I mean. So anything over one would have been a high body count. Why would I sleep with any other man if I wasn't in a relationship? Right. I, so I did. But but I'm asking you, have you only been with one person? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Damn. No, I have not. I am not. That mean that motherfucker far from one. She's like, nigga, hold on. Right. 
relax, motherfucker. I didn't say all that. It's not miles on this tank, but it also isn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. it's grown. It's not a that motherfucker didn't got got. <laughs> Listen, but at the same time, I don't. I don't really think the body. Like I wouldn't count the body count if you took care of it. So if your car mm-hmm. or your thing got thousands of miles but it's still driving it don't got thousands of miles <laughs> so um, saying, I'm not saying you but I'm saying we got hit a lot but that motherfucker still yeah, good it's it's still good yeah. do you get the oil change do you I you know the, the brakes change. good you know transmission I just recently got mm. my <laughs> transmission replaced that's a what what <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you gotta know. You be on my ass about shit, Christina. I'm on your ass. What you talking about? Right, right. What you done did to that coochie? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I just got a, a facelift, a I lip a lift. Thing t- no, 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 no. I have not done anything. Put some Don't even. Water in her right. motherfucking. And then the needle Hell, pisses me something. off. This is where you cut the clip. You don't even give me a chance to explain. That's what pisses me off about you. Hilarious. I don't need to explain myself. My you know I'm trying to get a clip out your ass. <laughs> Supposed to write up, see? When we get pussy good. surgery. Right. <laughs> How y'all feel about when we get pussy surgery? Oh my god. Christina Mackey. <laughs> That's hella funny. No, I have not done any I've never had surgery, so on anything. Ever. Mm-hmm. I just um How you feel about plastic surgery? The women getting I think they surgeries? should do it. Mm-mm. You know, they said Sky did that. Mm-mm. From that show, Love and or Ink Up Crew or something. I don't know that. Ink is. Crew, Crew Ink. I know of the show. I just don't you know, know the people. She had kids Black real young. Crew. Black Ink Crew. Yeah. She had kids real young, and they said that she went and got. Well, she said it on the show. She went and got her whole thing rejuvenated. What like, pussy? Yeah, snip, clip, pull, pop. That's what they should be doing. Fuck all these right. titties. Are you trying get, to get <laughs> rebap that pussy. Nah, I hate to. Because that's what niggas up. really care I about. I hate to bring this up because that showed like a lot about me. But I gotta bring it up. What? Like, but like I was on Instagram the other day and the girl took a picture in a bikini and like her legs weren't crossed but they were kind of open, just a little open. Uh-huh. And you could see the meat. Like you could tell she was a girl, but you could see the meat. And I was like, oh. oh. You know what's weird though? There's somebody out there or somebody that's like. <laughs> That like Don't you this. cut that meat. <laughs> you better leave that meat right where it's at. Was yep. sauce on it. I will take you as the meat is, okay? <laughs> nah, you're right. You're right. Everybody likes that. But I was just shocked to see that. Like, why would yeah. you post that? Yeah. Not your meat. I mean, the meat is supposed to be the one thing that's... She probably making a lot of money in her DMs off that meat. You understand? That's, yeah, it's showing for a reason. It's showing for a reason. It's yeah. somebody, he like, wear that out uh, on this interview, on that clip. Bring that little meat out. Bring that little meat out. That Damn. thing. Show like, me that little meat. Put mm-hmm. that on that meat. This people got some weird, yeah, you're right. like, fantasies. You're right. I shouldn't even said it, but I said it. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed it. I was like, whoa. That's crazy. Do you feel like you can get canceled by... Uh, I can, you can't cancel me. I'm a product of God. I think canceling is you a joke. You see what's wrong with Virgo? I think, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm saying, like, yeah. no, let me tell you something. God can't cancel you? No, no, no. I'm a, I am of God. Him. No, God could cancel me real quick. But I'm saying uh-huh. I am of God. So no, but no human can cancel me. I think if you can get canceled, you mm-hmm. you you will let yourself get canceled. You didn't keep applying pressure. You didn't stand on how you felt. Because yeah. most people get canceled and go silent for a few weeks. Like, no. But that's that's all they team telling them, come on, man. You can't You got to relax. This. You got to, no. you know. Yes, you got people retiring because they can't uh, really speak their opinion. That's whack. Yeah. That's super mm-hmm. whack. You canceled yourself. Yeah. But I think there's certain mm-hmm. things that's cancelable. You know what I mean? You got to be very careful. You doing sexual harassment. You doing... Uh, yeah, you know, abuse and stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm sure, like, it wasn't directed towards that. But I'm saying, like, uh, there's a lot of stuff that's cancelable. But it's it's hard when you're trying to be out there again. What level are you trying to be on? That's you have true. your own platform. Yep. You could be who you want to be. If you are playing to the masses, you got to apologize. Yeah. You, you got the toughest people be up there like, homof- you know, uh, trans this and this. And then you see them come on like, oh, I'm sorry. That's a fact. Trans I is nice. That. I received that. Because it's all about the level you want to be on. If you want to be fact. right here forever, then you got to act like you right here. You do that. But if yeah. you really want to get here, you got to put your ego and pride aside. You got to apologize. Play. That's what Even it if is. you don't mean it. Yeah. Unless, it, unless you establish your own lane your own yeah, thing repertoire, yeah. you you could be exactly who you are yeah you know what i mean but yeah 
Yeah. That's the, that's where I'm striving though. I want to yeah. be so myself that I'm not apologizing for what I said. Yeah. Like, yeah I can't see you I'm not being for everybody. No, I'm not for everybody. Yeah. yeah. And if you are for everybody, you're not yourself. Yeah. Because there's never one size that fits all. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I want to get to a point that I'm so successful that you can't cancel me because she's really like that. Yeah. Like she's really just being herself. You will. You know what I'm saying? And I will. I, sh- I I'm, I'm, I'm there already. I'm catching up to myself. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, like, I just, I want that for myself because I don't want, because want means you don't have. Yeah. I am that. Oh, mama. I don't, I will not apologize for anything I say. And oh. I meant. Yeah. Ooh, that's tough, though. I'm oh, not apologizing. Well, you're going to have to apologize for something. The truth is, you, we, we change, right? As right. we grow, we, we grow different opinions or we might meet somebody in life that, Gives a gives us a different New perspective, yeah. exactly of what we previously thought. You know, mm. that's why conversations. Oh, I feel like always need to be had. Right. You know, with that's with true. a lot of everything, pretty much. But I think that's when it becomes a like ah, you know, that's how I thought back in the day. This is a little different. You know what I mean? I agree with but that. yeah, a lot a lot of things, especially in the comedy world, it's like people will take a word out of your joke or what you're really trying to say, and that's all they heard. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Are you a Taylor Swift fan? I mean, I don't like no. rock her music, okay. but I, I don't. I, I don't. Just, just t- room check. Where'd that come from? That was random because we was talking about this shit. Yeah. And I was saying Taylor Swift sell more. She do more bigger numbers than Beyonce. Well, I mean. Uh, Can we not? Please? Yeah. I, 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 oh, number I, wise, I, she's bigger than yeah, Beyonce. Yeah, I, I would probably. It's weird. I, I would have to see them go toe to toe. Like that's one of the things you go. I want to see y'all drop an album on the same day. But tell. T- I think that's. Well, I don't like, think we don't need to see that. I don't need to see because because Taylor fuck around and win. You think I I and I'm I'm for Beyonce, but I'm saying number wise. All right. Well, the the issue though is that Taylor still does more. Like Beyonce be like, I'm going to chill. Might have some babies, do a photo shoot of this new clothing line. Then I'm going to go back in the hive. Mm-hmm. Um, then I'm coming out with an album and I'm going on tour. Mm-hmm. I don't really see, you You ain't going to see Beyonce at the awards drinking and <laughs> and dancing for that shit to go viral. You know that what I'm saying? T- Taylor Swift is in the, in the news constantly differently from oh, Beyonce really? right now. Yeah, they just I'm I'm saying like you see her out more. You're mm-hmm. not going to see Beyoncé really at certain things. Yeah, cuz Jay-Z watching this. You better not be running oh, yeah. these motherfucking Both streets. Of them. Yeah. Oh, For what? You don't see the queen at the kickback. Yeah. Oh. I can see the queen at the Kelly kickback. I can see the queen at the I didn't mean this kickback. Nah. I just meant no, but when you said kickback, you're I just right, thought right, of the right. show and said, I no, can no. see Beyoncé chopping gang with us. I'm talking about yeah. Nah, Beyoncé ain't coming, but Taylor Swift will come. You think so? Like, <laughs> Shit, I think I can get Queen B if this motherfucker nah, before Taylor. You get that? Taylor ain't gonna fuck <laughs> with Wayler. me. Wait, Taylor, you can't even say her. Taylor, right, right. Taylor. Oh I was saying that's Twayler. how much she Twayler. be out there. Uh, yeah. Taylor. Taylor Swift. Taylor. That's Twayler. her name. Taylor. Taylor. Taylor setting off careers though. Didn't she do that with Ice Spice? Got her a whole new fan base after her boyfriend did said something racist. Oh, for real? How you know about Taylor? And you don't know about Taylor. <laughs> I don't be. That's how I not know about her, but I don't know you about don't her. Know what you talking about? Yeah, no, man. I know she do numbers. That's all I know. Yeah, I'm not denying. What's that, the stats? No, that she do more millions of views on YouTube, Apple Play, Apple Music, all that. She has a machine behind her that's not humans. Like, that's my belief. She is the machine. <laughs> she you know the machine. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Beyonce's doing humans. Numbers. Yeah. Who's your top five she comedians of all time? Mm. Oh, come on, man. Mm. That's that's so tough. That's so tough because there's so many different things. Don't be politically I can, correct. I'm this not, ain't a political. It's not politically correct. It's just. Belt. Nah, nah. I you just. Fuck with it. Um, <laughs> I've only seen him like host. I've I, I never even really seen him. You never seen my set? Mm-mm. Let me think about it. I've never seen you set. Stop. Stop Damn, trying to crazy. find it. Yeah, never. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. She's well, I don't think I don't think it's bad. Because you know, out here they be stealing niggas' jokes and shit out here. Yeah, so I'm but, glad motherfuckers ain't seeing my shit. Well, out that's here. why I love doing like hosting locally and stuff like that. Now it's just 
I'll, I'll host because I'm really doing crowd work and I might throw in a joke and people be like, you ain't doing a set? Yeah, nigga, because you here. Exactly. You know what I mean? But yeah. uh, I, I feel that all the way. But I want you to see my set because I know you don't steal jokes. No, but I'll be mad if you're saying something that I speak on. <laughs> I that, that just happened to me and I'm, oh, nah, I kind of mentioned that because I'm still mad about it. It's Thug Mansion. Get know. your shit off. Don't nah, be nah, scared. Nah, 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 nah. nah. It's Thug Mansion. What, what's nah, going on? All, all I'm going to say is that I, 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 you know, I did this joke and I do this joke and I'm mad because somebody did it on a special and I'm more mad because it's not even flourished like it it seemed like you just took the premise and another part of it it might be the same nigga that took my joke listen man is the special out already yes it is man oh okay this ain't the same nigga then it's his shit coming oh no this just came out and he took your joke yeah. For fact. Premise, same shit like what she talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's it's like you and you could tell like low key I want to just put the joke out, like the full joke because I'm Besides like the joke right now. you missed the <laughs> Come entire on. You can tell you're not a comedian. Go. You missed the entire thing. Why you can't say And it, it? it was well because I'm I'm still on the debate of I'm going to keep it but I want to expand it in a different way. Mm-hmm. But it's just it's keywords that you go mm-hmm. somebody either gave you that joke or you saw me do it. And again, I think I'm more upset at the fact that you just wasted it. It's so much more to the joke yeah. that you just was like, yeah, it ain't yeah. bitten. And I'm like, nigga, it ain't bitten. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's, yeah. there's five, right. ten more minutes right. of it ain't bitten. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but again, the premise is so out there that you I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm hella curious. If the special came out already, who, uh, who is it? I I'm not know. gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. You ain't trying to this, go viral this real fast. Only no, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because this is the this this is. Ooh, eleven, eleven. Hey, make a wish. Um, this is the only time that I will back down from not saying something like this. Really? Yeah. So the no, comedian normally, must have got it. Must be pretty big. If the comedian must be pretty big. They they're big, but it, it's it's like putting up a fight uh-huh. for you know for for no reason. Why? Because it's it's not gonna it's not gonna change anything. Damn. This this is one of them things. That so I got. this is why comedians steal jokes. No no no. This is I'm gonna step to your face. If I ever see you, mm. then that's something different. Then what? At least I express. I got it out. Me saying it on social media involving people that when this motherfucker is huge and I don't even know if it came from him or the person that opened for him. You know what I mean? Or the person who the people that was torn with him. It could be, that's that's where it's at. So if I can't specifically say, I know you did it, why am I going to put myself out there and say something? Mm. But I will approach to be like, hey, Nick, uh, you know you did my shit. I, I, I would approach on that way. How do you guys prove who did it first? I got time. I always record myself, whether it's on voicemail, uh, voice memo yeah. or recording myself a video but i have time stamps so what if he has times or she has time steps too and and if it's before mine i'll be like holy shit yeah i I, I literally be like holy shit but that's that's another thing why say why that holy shit holy holy shit but it's literally like i'm not gonna say it's impossible but but i would i would love to see it right i would love to see it and i've I've had people, I did this, put it this way, like, I'll, t- I'll tell you a time, like, I post, I did this joke about gay marriage before gay marriage was legalized, and I said how I didn't want it to be legalized because, uh, um, you know, I don't want get, to get married. I ain't that gay and stuff like oh. this. So I do this whole thing, and I go, uh, my girl, they, they try to legalize marriage. I came home, my girl's like, yay, we can get married now. And I was like, hold on, bitch, and I had to pull out the Bible on her ass. And so I'm like, <laughs> it says here, Leviticus. So I got this whole joke. That's funny. But... Uh, then Key and, Key and Peel comes out mm-hmm. and they do a gay marriage sketch. I did this joke when Bounce TV first started when I was in Atlanta about 2000. Uh, the, and this is this is before the show is what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. But I taped it. There's a special that went out on Bounce TV mm-hmm. where I used this joke. Mm-hmm. And so Keenan Pill comes out later on and then I post this joke after and everybody's like, you took that from Keenan Pill. Damn. And I'm like, I'm not even saying that they stole it from me. I'm just saying like, I got a special Receipt. that was taped before the show even came out. So it'd be stuff like that. Like, you know, I, I like to prove my point because I don't like to be called a thief. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, and shit, from a person that's not in comedy, that shit really don't even matter to, to like, people. No, that's whoever made me laugh, I'm going to just laugh. I'm not going to be like, who wrote this joke? I don't care who said it, really. I'm just trying to laugh. Yeah. But that's that's what I'm saying. I go, yo, such and such did it, and then y'all be on and there. And then nobody like, wouldn't give a yeah, fuck. I'm like, we well, heard. he shot it first. Be if, like, that, oh, if that story, real? if I'm going to be... Honest and totally respectful. If that story was on the shade room, like so and so told a joke and so and so told a joke, and apparently they saw, I would keep scrolling. I don't care who who made me laugh first. Yeah. So that's why people could just steal jokes because nobody give a yeah, fuck. Yeah. People that we so we so weird right now where people <laughs> are literally re- I know that's messed up. reshooting exactly what somebody else reshot. Yeah. That's I, it happens at. to yeah. me all the time. It yeah. happens to me all the time. And all my videos, like you said, are dated. Yeah. yeah. I'll say a topic. It'll literally do millions and millions of views. And a girl will get on Insta, literally, who liked the video, yeah. Yeah. Will, will just repackage it. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, you could have just reposted my video. Yeah. But it's like, what I'm going to do about it? Yeah. Like, get your views off. I'm going to get mine. And eventually, like, either it's going to keep not adding up or y'all going to, like, I don't know, like. It's frustrating, it, though. To it's, me, it's, it's not, though. It's not because, like, once I get it out and I said it and it's time dated and stamped, I'm going to let the universe do the work. But see, how long I, would it take for you to make a video on Instagram? It takes me one minute. To make a joke, that shit sometimes take two years. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. So they hit you're building. You're, like, building an hour on stuff. So, f- prime example why some people get mad. It's like, why everybody doing crowd work? Why everybody not posting like what they do on the road and it's like because i can post that and somebody could take that on the road and and again be ready to film a special and then they use your, your joke and stuff like that i'm gonna give you this crowd work i'm gonna give you some simple ass jokes uh to have content but when you post the crowd work right and yeah. then you don't show the fans your material in comedian world we all seen each other material then they go out there and, and say the material and put it out yeah then it's yeah. their joke. But, I, but I'm yeah. not I'm not so mad about that because you literally like the crowd work that I'm doing is so minimal. You know what I mean? It's and when I say that I think everybody got some of the same crowd work, which is mm-hmm. hey, who y'all together or um you know, how long what y'all you been do knowing for each other, what you, you do y'all, for a living. Yeah, what you do for a living. And so unless somebody just say some wild stuff or I've seen something and then I can get them on that. But for the most part, your crowd work is going to be very... If you're going to take those jokes, I'll put them out there because yeah. I don't no, care No, but about I it. ain't talking about people taking no, the crowd work jokes. No, taking one of your masterpieces. Your master oh, yeah, jokes. Yeah. You're, not putting the, you're putting the crowd work out there yeah. stashing the material. Yeah. The comedian seeing your material and then they do the joke and then put it out there. Oh, she yeah, said that yeah. happened to her. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking this question because that... I think comedians need to be aware of that. Yeah. We save material that's not being saved. Yeah. And, and it's yeah. messed up because like <laughs> artists, like like painters or something, mm-hmm. like my homegirl Adrian um, painted something or no, that wasn't Adrian. Whatever. Somebody painted something and like she's a painter. She has a whole thing in her house and she in a company took it and reprinted, like printed digitals of the thing and went off to make millions and she like doesn't get paid at all. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it sucks because then she could do a lawsuit and she could get some money back for that. Cause she has proof and receipts, but then what's a comedian going to do? Like how does a comedian get reimbursed for their efforts in words? Yeah. Mo- most of the time people would just be like, if you can't write anything, uh, after, if that's like your pride and joy and you can't write other than that then you're not a real comedian and I agree with but that. again yeah again though if depending if you just on stage telling jokes that's different you know Mike Epps could get on stage and do a joke and then somebody taking you like ah, I got I got more to that you know what I'm saying exactly. but if somebody's working on an hour that's meaningful and you know what I'm saying? Got a storyline to it and stuff like that. And then you take from there. And then somebody goes off to make millions from it. Like, like for example, Kevin Hart's joke about, like, what was the joke, the, his famous joke about? All right, uh, all right, all right. Yeah, like, for example, just that. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, right. Like, that was big. Everybody yeah. knows him for that. Yeah. But, like, if he got that from you and then that's his signature now yeah. or that's his, like, funny joke. That that's his all, whole brand. Then it's like, dang. Yeah, like, that, that's that's crazy. That yeah. hurts. That it'd be equivalent to a nigga in the studio. Imagine if other rappers just came to other nigga sessions all the time and heard like this finna be a hit. Yeah, yeah. And then go record the song first. somewhere else and then drop it first. And, and then they become platinum gold. And it's like, Grammys. nigga, that's my song. <laughs> but it's it's laziness too. It's like I'd rather somebody go, man, I like your writing. 
could you help me with my stuff or, you know, could you come punch up? Could you, you know, whatever the case may be. But again, there's certain there's certain topics, there's certain things that you're you might step on or you're going to step on with other people if you talk about life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's 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 just one of them things. This this as I'm saying, it's just pissing me off. Man. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, even what you it just said. Even, life, nigga, even what you just said about like a, a artist stealing an artist song. Yeah, you can still get paid in exactly. a lawsuit for that. There's no nothing for you guys to gain off of saying it's he said she said it's it's hearsay yeah it's hearsay and it's somebody that's gonna be like man i ain't even see you you know i ain't even see your set or, but that'd be I the damn lie like, well it, but that's the well, lie but where always, you going with that it's you can't always go to the court. person that knows exactly. yeah it's always the person that knows they joke that go no i remember exactly when i saw you you came to the show man. that's the only time i seen you uh <laughs> like i that'd I can be name. so tragic Nigga be like, oh, that's why that nigga was sitting there at the crowd that night. That's why I love. I seen that nigga four times in a row. Person said. Four Monday straight for that reason. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's like it seems like comedy is the only thing that can't get paid for copyright. Yeah. I, the truth is, I think you can probably copyright anything. You just have it's, to have every, every You could sue or, or go to court for anything. You just have to have documents and money. Yeah. That's you, why a lot of people lose. But not everybody documents their that. Like Well a lot of I you mean You could have been at So you, you should sue been, the motherfucker. You could sue if you got money. If you got money on mama's son. Uh, yeah, it take like, money to sue a yeah, motherfucker. Does, does. Studios and, and, and the way people get away with stuff is because you don't have enough money to fight their team. Mm. And eventually you're gonna waste all your money and then lose the case because you can't get that lawyer to come back to court to fight your case. Yeah. That's the only reason why people lose. It's not that they don't have the proof. They keep prolonging the courts. They keep, you know, doing something to make you have to leave to revisit, but you're spending money each time you get that lawyer to come Damn. in. Damn. What you think you could have been if you wasn't a comedian? Oh, I'd have been like a computer science engineer or something like that. Def definitely something in technology. What you feel like why you didn't become that? Um, truthfully, I got accepted to two of the three colleges that I wanted to go to. Instead of me going out of town because I wasn't that knowledgeable of it, mm -hmm. I stayed uh, in my same community and I felt like I was, it was an extended high school. So it, it, I Didn't wasn't motivated, I wasn't any of that. Yeah. But I'm also, um, I'm also more like, like I hated being timed in school for like tests and stuff like that. And I had certain teachers that knew that. So the way I, I would get straight A's, but if you time me, I go fucking crazy. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. um, anyway, saying all that to say, uh, um, I didn't even really lose it. I got to use it in my life now. Mm. So I, I can learn something about technology and immediately absorb the information. I might not be able to explain it, yeah. but I'd be like, oh no, you want to do a live stream? When we did the pandemic, I I literally like saw how somebody had it up and it was a huge... Um, uh, Backdrop? Uh, no, I'm saying like a huge production. Uh -huh. And I was like, hmm. You don't actually need all this. You can take this and do that. And I went and put it in my room. And I just set set it up and it, it worked. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I would have been if I wasn't a comedian. Oh, man. I don't know what the fuck I would have been. I ain't going to lie. I don't know. What you think I would have been <laughs> if I wasn't a comedian, Christina? A dentist. A dentist? I, oh, I, wouldn't, I don't want to be in no nigga mouth. <laughs> I'd be only all female. female. <laughs> I only take female clients. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, mama. You going to have, you be like the ice cream parlor dude. You ever uh, seen a dude uh, when a woman come in for their ice cream and uh, they, they be getting up on there with their ice cream and making them like do stuff? You ain't seen that video? Uh, Bro. <laughs> I don't be watching enough TV. I got to send you that. That's on Instagram? Yeah, man. Uh, okay. It's like you Google... A uh, woman going to get ice cream f uh, from men. That's a, like sexual. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some put sexual. Y'all used something. to see. Y'all used to watch the one. Uh, y'all seen that? What's that shit? That shit was going viral while I was growing up. Uh, some one girl in a cup or some shit. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Two girls, one cup. Yeah, two, two girls, girls, one cup. Yeah, I seen it. Why did that shit like, go viral? I was. Like I didn't get it. Grade, it was they was just some Chinese motherfuckers shitting in the cup, right? Yeah, but no, they're eating it. They were eating it. Yeah. 
They were like, thought, yeah, they were what's... actively doing that on camera. No, now since we're talking about it and I'm older, that probably was like some program shit. Like the show. <laughs> it was at two o'clock in the morning. Uh, when I seen it at pop school. Pop up video. Yeah, mm-hmm. like why was we in school? And we had to search really hard to find it. What was that about? I don't know, but I remember that very vividly. And then Blue Waffle. I don't remember. I don't Blue know Waffle. what Blue Waffle was. That's some Y'all know about Blue Waffle? Oh, oh shit. Y'all is that, nasty. Y'all in there. No, what the no, fuck no, is no, Blue no. Waffle? Google it. Yeah. Google STD Blue Waffle. STD Blue Waffle? Yeah. Well, oh, a, STD. Well, you throw that yeah. in there. Well, it's a waffle that, that... Google it. Right I, now. I, I can kind of You going to fuck around. Get my well, phone from right, right, there. Do it, too. No, do let's, type it on no, your phone. No, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say what do I think it is, and then okay. when you pull it up... Okay, yeah, and then so show it to her. I think it's Don't like... Don't show it to me, but show it to her. I think it's like when your lips or something like expand and it's blue and it's like fungi. That sounds cool. Do it. <laughs> All right, let me guess what it is. Blue waffle. Okay. Blue waffle might be... The waffle might be the ass. Could be. And then blue. <laughs> some shit went in the ass and the ass turned blue. That's a good guess. And they like blue waffle. The ass. Oh, my. That was a good <laughs> guess? I mean. That it's... shit sound cool. Well, it ain't sound cool, but I'm saying that shit sound like what it might be. Somebody do Black it. Black it right, y'all? No. Just get do a picture. You need to see All a right, visual. Yeah, that shit might blow up Don't my phone panic. or something. Let's look on Shantay shit. Nah, you did. You did what? <laughs> Blue waffle STD. Blue waffle disease. I want to see it. You're going to make me not go down see, on my lady. See, we need to come up with a scheme like this because people love Googling some I freaky just, I shit. I still, to this day, don't understand what would cause that. See, I need to come let up me, with let like Let me just tell you why I don't want to click on this because it says, it. do not search Google images for Blue Waffle. If you do, then don't complain. Damn, for real? And just Blue Waffle? You see it? I just see a Blue Waffle. You see a blue waffle? I'm not that shit look good too. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's a images. Did you put STD? Yeah, I got. We got to put in STD. Yeah, because it's probably just blueberry waffles. <laughs> I can't. I can't. STD. I can't. I'm never doing this podcast again. <laughs> Damn. No. Man, they didn't took that shit down. That nah, shit ain't even popping up. Man, here. It's, I just see hella blue waffles. All I'm saying look good. is, that, I want a blue waffle. Those man. are two things. Well, that, I don't want the blue waffle. That shit that they talking about. I want a real original, regular waffle that's blue. <laughs> what is blue waffle disease? Oh, some chicken wings, chicken and waffles. You will never. That shit go crazy. Yeah, I didn't even see it, but I saw it, and I don't want to look. Eh? Is that the blue waffle? Let me see. What the fuck is? When you that see it, you know you seen it. Oh my God! They cleared. To be? They cleared. What they it look like? We're gonna have to show this shit. Sh- pop th- this yeah, shit up. What it look like? A vagina. Let me That's see. blue and puffy. Oh, so, so my guess of... was right. My guess was see. closer. Let me what see. Let me see. Hold guess? on. I said a Blips. puffy pussy with uh with. <laughs> you should have said it like that. That's a puffy funny. Pussy. <laughs> throw it. Throw it. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. That's, That's it. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Oh, is it a penis? No, that's him right there. What is it? That's a puffy pussy. Oh, my God. That's a puffy pussy? I told you. I was close. How the fuck you get that? I don't know, but she was right. waffles like you want. You like chicken wings with... (laughs) Don't blow this shit up on my thing. I screenshot it. You never gonna fucking eat vagina again. (laughs) Yeah, that's disgusting. That was the two things that really just stuck with me in my childhood. And I remember seeing them, like, weeks apart. And I was just, like, <sighs> like disgusting. Damn. I would have never had sex if I would have saw that as a kid. No, nah, I, was, I was like that. I was really like that. Uh-huh. I would have been terrified. I was really like that, yeah. no, And it was girls that I went to a white school, so they and were you, giving hands. Not only that, but you fuck. had to go home to type it on the computer. It's not like you got the picture. No, we seen it on a phone somehow, like... I don't remember. Time you know, travel? You know the man. <laughs> just... How old do you think I am? <laughs> uh, you look about 21. I'll take I it. I say y'all both. Why is it inappropriate to ask women their age? It, it's just not It's only what you do. inappropriate when you get older and then you ask. 
When you when you young and you're vibrant, like, I'm you're like, girl, to ask me, ask me, <laughs> ask me. Guess how old they are. When, <laughs> when you reach a certain age and What's you the age hate you your like, life, don't ask me your age. It depends. I think about twenty five. After twenty five, like I, I think it depends on where you at and uh, how and who's you asking? how you look. What how much trauma and experience <laughs> did you put on your life to look how you look? Cause mm. you can say you can say thirty. You can say I'm forty five. Don't I look good? I work out. I'm healthy. Yeah, 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 I got yeah, my yeah, career yeah, yeah. going. Angela like yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't mind Nicole being. She's sixty five. Yeah, but she see, I'm telling good. you, my age. Fine as fuck. Yeah, yeah better than great. half of these chicks yeah. out here. Yeah, for sure. Nicole Murphy too. She I looks know. good. She look, oh yeah, I know. Eddie Murphy's ex wife. She, she yeah. looks so good. What's the age limit? So twenty five and up. I don't know. I don't know, but just don't ask me my age. You know, especially if you're younger than me. Like, don't ask me my age. I just realized men be insecure about their age. I didn't know that shit. Yep. The older I'm getting, you know, I know niggas that's older than me and them niggas then. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, nigga, why are you lying? Yeah. Right. Fuck. For how old do I look? Yeah, like me act you like a bitch. You nigga. ain't supposed to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how old you think I look. <laughs> 80, nigga. Hey, I always, anytime somebody say that. Go over, right? Yeah, you me go too. way over. Uh, that's right, you, you know, niggas be scared because, you know, we even want to fuck. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, you be like, how old I look? I be, I always just say a good number. A good number to say is 27, 28. Yeah. That's a good number for anybody. You can't go too low. You can't be like 15. They be like, you fucking perfect. I hate when somebody me? who looks their age asks me how old do they look. I hate that. Yeah. Because I be like, I don't know. But but a lot of <laughs> a lot of times people just want a compliment. That's what they fish are for. But that's like yeah. your hair is nice, but like you look old for sure. As fuck. You look stressed. Damn. It's true. I said that. I ain't never told them. For real? <laughs> nah, I told them I always do. What is younger. the what is the like you like you like you old? What's that age? White. White? <laughs> Yo, you wildin'. It's almost midnight. <laughs> that was funny. Why? I don't get it. I don't get the joke. You just basically white people just age very Oh, uh, that's fucked up. They, they age after three months. Come on, everybody. Get, after three months is downhill from there. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Actually, for the first time in my life, I do want to just share this. Like I've never like had a white guy that I was attracted to. Mm -hmm. But there's this white dude in my microbiology class and I'm like, yo, he's kind of fine and he's super smart. And I'm like, my mom would be so mad at me. Yeah. Did you first kiss a white boy? Your first no, kiss? No, I never told it, you it was that. Mexican? He was Mexican. Oh yeah, that's different. That's white. No, that's it's white. not. How Mexican was he? Is he tan Mexican? He was black Mexican. Mm, okay. He was black His Mexican. name was Jose, though. Oh, no, that no, no, that's Mexican. fine. It just be when the when you can't tell if they white no. or like a Shakira. Oh, I, mean? I hate that I'm lying like, to you right now. He had green eyes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, keep going, keep going. What else? He had the blonde hair. <laughs> no, she he got green dark. eyes though. Yeah. I did, but I got the complexion. Yeah, yeah he got the complexion yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he had yeah. dark hair. He you was, go, you getting arrested? Uh, the police pull you over? No, they go, they gonna try to touch me first. I might be at a bargain with the cops before they lock me up. I let you touch my waffle. Yeah. I've wanted to ever see the blue so you, waffle. You, you, you turn into a female for it? Like, you turn yeah, your yeah, little yeah, feminine yeah, shit in for your benefit? You I'll be, right be awkward as fuck in my hoodie. Like, what you like, say? Ah! i be like, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> she a real like, nigga until she got to get out of some shit. Like, Just get out of some shit, man. I, I will make you tea. How I you will, doing? How you doing? Down. You need a massage. It was probably a lot of people you had to rest and you hurt your shoulders. <laughs> How you gonna flirt with the police when they pull you over? How you got? Yeah, I'm, like, well, I'm pulling you over. You, you know, it's it's natural. It's like Drop when you go hair. when you go somewhere like yeah, personal. I mean, like to a corporate place or something mm -hmm. like that. But they pull you over and you be like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Drop the like. hair. Mm -hmm. Every I'm girl sorry. knows that. What did you say, yeah. officer? You got you got to pull it to the side. Yeah. I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, that I got a hook the top next to my wallet right, and my right. license. Yeah, yeah. What's look, the hook the top? Start doing this. Look. Yeah. yeah. With the hoodie. Oh, what you, what you, what you say, hoodie. officer? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I don't know why you pulled me over. Put a little perfume on me. Right. Ah. Damn, that's yeah, hella I do all that. funny. So I drop my hair. I'll, if I can, I'll put a little lip gloss on and I'll lean in. And I'll be like, no, I wasn't speeding. But see, I know your ass would do it. I'm going to do it. But I didn't know Shantae would do that yeah. shit, too. Let me tell you something. 
Okay. You gotta, you gotta use you gotta what you, you got. Do. You gotta why use you think, what you Why you think I won't cut these off? This is my pride. Why? Okay, I got this a is, question. Yeah. Why do dykes always have the biggest Damn. titties? And the <laughs> dykes is a, 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 a mean no. word. Very strong wait, word wait, wait, there. Spell. What was the word? You oh, you use hey, No, hey, please, by all means, hey. say dyke. No. Why For do real? studs? I thought you I used care. that word I earlier. Lie. I just learned that shit like two weeks ago. What, no, no, no. I didn't know. I, I didn't I know that dyke. that was a bad word. I'm they sorry. They just switched that. When that become I, a bad you, word? I'm it's, okay. Okay. I'm when okay. do when when why do don't studs always clip. have the fat asses and the big titties? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because that don't mean and the long lashes. It's like it's like it's like how why people are uh, freezing their bodies. They know later that this equipment could help them in life. <laughs> you know what I mean? It don't make no really? sense. Every time I meet a stud. Oh, I was going to say, damn, that's deep. This man. <laughs> I was trying to really? think of the cryo. What's the thing they use? That's a good oh, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do women that date women and carry themselves as men Oh, you like all stud? politically correct. What? Hey, you like that, hey. huh? Yeah. But you said it very slow. Why do women <laughs> who date, date women, women. <laughs> Have to date women. <laughs> Half of the people that's watching this shit high right now. Right, so right. I gotta slow it down for them niggas to know what we talking All about. All I'm saying is I've never met a stud who didn't have titties. Yitties. Really didn't didn't have like most studs just have a body. Body. They just got body. Hips. I, you know. And then be swinging them and trying maybe to. Maybe we've been molested the most. You know what I mean? I don't think there's too many molesters out there that want y'all little skinny bitches <laughs> no no titties till you 40 you gotta have a baby to get a body you like nigga we been in these streets okay <laughs> damn yo like, ass talking crazy. about flat as hell why <laughs> is it always <laughs> Ray you hella funny that's some deep shit I hate that that makes sense <laughs> that do that's some shit I don't wanna no comment. <laughs> yeah, we you say night, but you don't want to go Ooh, into the. Wow, I didn't say do all that. God damn. Oh shit! <laughs> I never thought of that though. I never mm. would have. That would have never. I see, but me, she just I made a like new I neuron along, connected. I get along with the studs, <laughs> with the big titties and booties and shit, because they be realer niggas than the skinny ones. Yeah, that, yeah. Because they be thinking they really hella hard. The yeah. skinny like, ones. Hold on, bitch. You're right. If the we whip it out of gun. Yeah, the skinny oh, yeah. ones. That's yeah. true. They be having. They be guns. too masculine. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> the studs with titties and ass, they be more player. Like, what's up with it? Oh, what's up with it? Oh, mamas. <laughs> but the ones that don't got no breasts. My last question: Do you wrap your titties? Nah, I don't wrap them. I wouldn't be able to breathe. Like That's I got them. I my titties are so big. Like I, I have to take off my bra. New world disorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, but you see, like I'm trying to. My, I got the titties that it don't matter how much weight I lose, mm. I still look fat because my titties. Oh, will, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Will always have my shit like this. Yeah, you know what I mean. Damn. My titties. Listen. If, <laughs> I'm enlightened. My titties. If if I can. I gotta take off my brows so I can't breathe. Like I got about <laughs> ten more minutes with y'all <laughs> before I gotta release these shits. I've been out all day in the strap. That's hella funny. But no, I don't. I don't. I don't do that. I don't strap mine. Do you feel like you can get canceled by the uh, the L? I don't know the fucking LGBTQ. Whole thing. We're gonna learn today. All right. L G L G G B B T T Q Q I A plus. <laughs> oh, for real? Plus, it's a plus. W, yeah, it's a plus. What's wrong with so you? So, is it offensive when people use... say the gay community? No, they're gay. Yeah, because you're forgetting about L. L G you you got the G. You're forgetting about oh, L. Oh, so the G is for gay. Yes. But no, the, so L, the, the L, L is gay too. L is lesbian. That's oh, gay though. Isn't that okay. gay? Yeah, that's gay. That's lesbian. But gay isn't just gay is condensed dudes. to men. Yes, it is. No, lesbians is for girls. Lesbians yes. isn't just lesbians <laughs> for girls. Uh -huh. Gay is for dudes. Yep. Uh, okay. Then you got bi. Because men can't be lesbians, so women can't be gay. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Can men and for trans to, to your lenses? Can men be bi? Because I feel like if you bi, you gay. I mean, as that's a up to a female that they with. That's up I, for the man that's bi to decide. I put it this no, way: I, I will give more leeway to a dude that give it than take it. If, what? if I was to go wait, to wait, a, wait, 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 <laughs> a, a dude, I'm saying the top versus the bottom. What's the problem? 
<laughs> so you rather somebody take it and and it's different? Hey, he's nigga not, ain't doing nothing to me. Right. He's not so gay I'm if saying, he's a top. If you were gonna do something, Lewis, listen, this is hypothetically speaking. I can't fuck with it. <laughs> Lewis, if you was in jail, I don't give a fuck you where never I'm at. gonna have a blue <laughs> waffle in your life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do think about that though men that go to jail for eternity like you get 99 years in jail like forever like hey let me put it in your butt like you know what I'm saying dude? I think there's very rare dudes that could hold that together I think so too there's no I way I think that they hell. would try it and they would bend them over they would feel guilty about it they would cover them <laughs> y'all up. sound like women well, you right know, now then you, got, nah, then you got you know you got the now, drugs that's the problem, you got though. the men, men not to cut you off but men that mm. think that they would never do or men that would never do it. Let me put respect on your name. Men that would never do it, excuse me, uh, you're not considering that men that don't know that they would do it. Exactly. That's a whole different niggas. But I'm but, saying they, 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 some of them are your friends. They go to jail and get 99 years. This be the crazy thing. And is that, that booty start looking so fat. There's so many men that you probably hang around that damn, have gotten that, their that get SOD. something done. Yeah. Either they dick suck uh, something in they butt. I even even men even that a finger do it with movie. women that mm -hmm. just that I know that just deal with women still like to get pegged and stuff. Yeah. My bad. My lips are dry as hell. So Damn. sorry for licking my lips so much because they get. So we got to go back because this conversation make me uncomfortable. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so yeah, a no. L <laughs> L's for lesbian. L's for lesbian. Gay is for gay G. dudes. Mm -hmm. And then B is by trans. Um. L G B T Q. Now Q I A. Queer? What yeah. is Q for? Q is queer. But what is queer? Oh. This is where you gonna like. This what does is it mean to be queer? To What's the, the difference between queer and gay? Well, queer I think is more. Uh, I should know this. Gosh. When do you call? Can you get canceled queer? by this community even though you in it? Not really. I think there's a lot of people that like understand. Like we there's there's a lot of people. You grow up at a certain time. You're like man. Nobody thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You like y'all adding stuff to the thing because because some letters mean the same, but it's different to people. Some people like to be called queer, queer. I think it's all over. It's, you know what I mean? It's what they want to be. OK, queer mm -hmm. is not queer is an umbrella term for people who are not heterosexual or not cisgender. What is that? Uh, cisgender is like, uh, oh, gosh, I think fe female. I gotta keep golly. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah. I gotta Google a word. Could Google a word. Uh, Google a uh, word. I, I edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> genders when you don't identify. Identify with the gender. No, because yeah, yeah, because because they got you cis know, women. Uh, you, you said what? No, I was repeating what she said. Cis is when you don't identify with either. With either gender. gender. Oh, either which gender. Which is what queer is. Oh, okay. Cause I'm very curious about it because you're a comedian and you're very raw and uncut and you're yeah. hilarious. So it's like at, for most comedians right now, everybody talking about they're being fearful because they're limited on things they can say, things they can joke about, and stuff. And I kind of feel like you're a female and you're part of the community. So it's like you can dare to talk about everything. You can talk about niggas, females, and the gay community because you're a part of. Damn near everything. Yeah, but that's like you saying like a black comic can go on stage and be like, yeah, I like Trump because he did for us. You know what I mean? Like like somebody coming on stage saying uh -huh. that uh, that they're for the opposite of what you should be for for the community. Does that make sense? Cisgender nah, means... Nah. I'm saying that's like a black person. It's mm -hmm. it's like, what's the dude that was running for govern government in Florida or something like that where he sound very uh slavery what was the dude he was it was a big running um mm -hmm. anyway it's like a black person going on stage and talking about the community but not for the community okay. you can't even if you feel that way even if you feel like trump wasn't racist or this and that don't say that shit. Oh. don't say that in florida in front of a white audience and it's just you and me brother you're gonna automatically lose that black crowd Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. So I see what you're saying. But said. it's not even that. It's like I don't understand what you're saying. It's just like don't embarrass us. Don't say that shit at uh -huh. home. Don't say that publicly. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you'll get LGBT people out uh -huh. there like that. You'll get that type of community that's like, no. Uh, if you don't say this or stick up for this, then you're allowing people to make it okay for this. And it's like, no. I I like meshing with both crowds. I I like understanding where we are and 
our rights and you know what we stand for and how you know this is a beautiful thing that people are finding out who they are and being accepted and loving themselves you know what i mean mm -hmm. less suicide less violence that's yeah. what i'm for but then i come from a generation that you know a lot of shit went from zero to 100 so i understand that as well uh-huh damn yeah uh, that's like so that's what i get to talk about but i have to be able to uh push and pull i gotta be like yeah you right mm -hmm. but but you you know what I mean? It's, it's that thing. And that's what I get from your comedy. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? Seeing you as an act. And I kind of feel like, damn, that's why I'm a fan. Because it's like, you relate to, you know how to relate to everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That's hella. And I don't know if like, damn, is that an advantage or a disadvantage? No, I mean, I I love it because, mm -hmm. again, I'm always going to try to be like, you're right, but this, I, I, I like finding That's that That's what makes good comedy. Right, to, yeah. you know, and also just to kind of bring both comedians together, I mean, communities together, because mm -hmm. if you get people laughing at this and they don't feel like you're just one thing, then I think that opens up conversation. Yeah. Like, oh, you you pretty cool about this. Like, I don't like, yeah. you know, necessarily your sexuality. You should see me. I'll be... And all types of like Muslim dudes DMs or you know following them just a I I just like learning and seeing what motivates people to live their truth for whatever the case may be as long yeah. as you're not hurting me you know yeah what I mean? yeah I think that's hella dope mm -hmm. yeah because I, I I I'm a fan of yours uh Thank Flame you. and Row yeah. I think she hilarious um yeah and it's just like it's so comedy is so like um. That's just, it's like basketball in a sense, where it's like you work uh, with different personalities, different uh, genders, different, all type of beliefs, everything. Yeah. So it's like, it's certain questions that like, I'm asking you on this platform, because yeah. I probably would never even probably have this conversation with other people, because I wouldn't feel comfortable. But as a comedian, yeah, and you know what I'm saying? Like, we so... We got a heart, but we so, like, numb to shit. Yeah. Where you can yeah. ask kind of, like, comedians anything in a sense. Because you know, like, where they coming from in a yeah. sense. I think that's the raw thing about comedy. Like, we could talk about anything. Yep. Mm, that's true. Yeah. Well, cisgender means you <laughs> identify as your given sex. Meaning you're a man, you identify as a man. You're cisgender. So, I just learned that right now. I thought it meant the same thing. But to finish it, do you know what all of them mean? No, no. Okay, so lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, yeah. or sometimes questioning, depending on who you yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah. Oh, intersex, yeah. asexual, plus others. Yeah, plus I didn't others. know. Um, I didn't know the intersex. I thought I was something else. And I don't know what that means. What is but they the intersex? also have like other stuff too. Mm -hmm. So what is the intersex? Let me see. Because wh intersex, <laughs> what uh, intersex is a gender term used for a variety or variety of situations in which a person is born with a reproductive or a, a sexual anatomy that doesn't fit the boxes of female or male. So it's kind of like when they Sometimes. have a vagina, but they don't want to call it. Or they'll be born with both. Oh yeah. Or they they. You can be born with both. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's a hermaphrodite. Yeah, sometimes Damn. doctors do surgeries on intersex babies and children to make now, their body this, this fit. This the They're just ideas. adding letters now. That's too, what I'm yeah. saying. Because intersex Cause people are, other don't people have are complaining. nothing to do with. But intersex, like you can be born with, you don't know if that's a penis or a vagina. Vagina. So doctors are doing a surgery. Like, what do you want? Do you want a daughter or a son? And then they change it. Like, okay, I want her to be a daughter. But then the whole time that daughter or that soul in that body felt like a boy. So then they change it back. Now you're intersex. That's. So, I mean, that's when I think you should you should hold off before you just cut one of them off. Or somebody born with two, you gotta. But if you do it young, you then you can create keep almost both of them. I mean, real talk. You would have had both of them, huh? The OnlyFans page? I'd have been on that motherfucker. Going crazy. Going crazy. To yourself? Nigga. I'd have been like... <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. You know, people would be buying people would be buying say, you know how much money I... That's probably a category on page. Right, right. If not, <laughs> let me, if not, let me manage you. <laughs> You'd be <laughs> like this. Master your OnlyFans. <laughs> I would just do weird shit like that because I'd be curious. So would you be a virgin if you had both? You had a vagina and a penis you and you like, like, man, let me just feel with this pussy hidden foe. Would you be a virgin? The fact that you would play with this type of thought, but you wouldn't go back to jail and talk about 
top and bottom uh-huh. is very interesting. The fact really? that you're willing to play with these ideas, but yeah. you won't give Eminem a chance. That too. What I'm saying is, <laughs> is I think a dick going is a pussy. Right. So it's like shit. If I had a dick, we don't need the illustrations. Boom. Yeah, but that'd be like you fucking and how yourself. How you know the dick is that big? Right. What how do you know it can fit? fit in? Because I'm thinking about my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't thinking about you got the hook? dick. You got the hook. Oh yeah, my shit got a curve for sure. I get a lot of compliments. <laughs> so it's like shit. I'm like shit. I don't know how that'd be. Would you be a virgin? Yeah, Lou. You would be a virgin. Would you be able to get yourself pregnant? These are a lot of questions. Right? Yeah. Would you be getting, yeah, would that be able to happen? I just don't feel like this knowledge is going to get us I think, I so. mean, listen. You know These are good questions. I think this is how These it started. These are great questions, but we don't. It's the truth about how the world was created is that oh. there was one person yeah. with a vagina and hermaphrodite. There was no Adam and Eve. It was Adam and Eve together. I have together. heard that. I have heard that. Yeah. And they, I they ain't heard, heard that, but that makes a lot of sense. Well, they said, they said like women was here first and, and that they were able to uh, have their own babies before like men came. That's, that's a, uh, what you call it. That makes sense though. You mm-hmm. you know what really, can I tell you, can I just share my little idea of is the world? Lip, is it dry? It don't look dry at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was going to tell you. My all, shit, we about tell, even. Because I'll keep, I, but it's like here. You feel like, it, yeah, but you can't see it. Sometimes I'll be in videos, I'm like, they... No, your Make lips don't look dry right, at all. Thank you. I would have. I was about you. to go over there. And you go, want a little bit of? Give me some of that. My idea of the world, okay? Uh-huh. I just want to say this. I've never said this out loud, so I want to uh-huh. say it. So you know how we put God as a mythical creature above us, mm-hmm. like that we pray to it and that we're not bigger than it and we should fear it. Mm-hmm. So have you ever looked at a cell under a microscope? Uh, yes, of any sort. I don't remember. Yeah, so yeah. it's intense. Like it's so many things moving and going on, like a cell. Mm-hmm. So, what if Earth is a molecule mm-hmm. inside of God's body, hey. and all of the planets are molecules? Because when you zoom out, you zoom out, you zoom out, you zoom out, you zoom out. Now you see Earth. Mm-hmm. It's just this small thing compared to zooming out again, and now you see Pluto and. Jupiter mm-hmm. and all that, and then you zoom out again and you see the galaxy. What if we are molecules <gasps> oh. inside of God's body? Because when you zoom into the cells in our body, they're like planets. Like everything is a, a yeah. cycle of the same. Yeah. So instead of <laughs> that's hella deep. It is. I see what you're saying it though. Is. You know, like and like when you cut an orange open, have you ever paid attention to the alignment? Yeah. Like if you just cut an orange yeah. or you peel it, yeah. you look at the veins. What do we have inside of us? <laughs> veins. veins. Yeah. What do the trees have? Veins. veins. Yeah. The trees. And then like inside of your body, you have a Golgi apparatus, which is like it's it's I know you all don't know that, but it's like, you know, I'm a n- nursing major. So like inside your body, you have a packing and shipping department that literally before the food that you consume goes to the next department, it goes and sorts it. And then you have a gallbladder and you yeah. have all these things. Right. Yeah. And these are all things like a kidney bean. Yeah. What do we eat? We yeah. eat beans like like. Everything is a we got recycle. Electricity, like the everything. The, the, yeah. ATP energy inside mm-hmm. of your body. It's electricity. It's literally all the things that we have, like Amazon, to go sh- send a package. Yeah. It's the same thing your body has when inside. When we take a shit. Yeah. Exactly. That's like an Amazon Amazon package getting delivered. <laughs> like flop. Just drop, drop, drop the package. Off, <laughs> dropped off at your doorstep. They ain't ring the bell. I That's knew I couldn't is. get far in this explanation. With you, you, you was inside. He's like, I'll awesome. feel you. What if you take a shit? Yeah. And then, but no, seriously, like everything is like the same. And like, I don't know if you, if you see, um, if you see like the hills or the, the mountains and mm-hmm. they say like, why does that look like a person or an animal? Mm-hmm. And they call it something uh, when they, when it, when it's freezed, it's called, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I don't know. Whatever. Mm-hmm. We won't dig. But like the trees, like just the underneath the, the life system of the trees, like everything is the same as inside your body. And like as a nursing student, I just learned. So what is the booty? So you're you're being funny, but I'm serious. Like, like, for example, like when it rains or when it hails or when a storm happens, like what if just hear me out? Mm -hmm. What if like God is crying 
or like mm -hmm. like because he has a God too. What if our God lives inside of the biggest God or another God and so on and so forth, right? But we're only praying to what we know. And that's why they say you can manifest anything because it's not it's not that the I even if just by thinking you can manifest anything because the idea is getting sent up to God, which mm -hmm. is the body, like yeah. the big the big thing, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's like whatever the you know and then the rivers and the lakes, those are all things we have in our body. Yeah. Think about drinking yeah. water and then it and expels is somewhere. Like the, the most of us too as well as We're mostly like made planet. of water. Yeah. And then yeah. like so it's so on and so forth. Just like there's water that lives inside our body, there's lakes and things, oceans inside of this body. Yeah. And this body could be the big body, so like God, when the stormy, giant. When it's stormy, it could be like God crying and peeing at the same time. Like this nigga <laughs> you got sad Or, or he's he drinking peeing. water. Or he's drinking water. He's putting more water into us or something. Like it could be I, anything. I got something. What if God is just schizophrenic? You know what I mean? You know how they say we are Boy. all baby gods and this nigga's just, we are all his personalities. <laughs> I believe that though. I do believe that. Yeah, that yeah. You're, you're being funny, but I no, do believe I, that. No, I'm being funny, but I also, serious, I also believe, I mean, I believe that we're <laughs> just, if we're children of God, then we're little gods. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and for a bigger You're entity. not separate of him. Not like in all. order for him not to experience every single thing it's yeah. like god is colors melted right yeah, yeah. every color melted would be god and we're all the colors yeah every color melted is then god so you're saying the personalities in order for him to know about murder and rape yeah. and um presidency and politics and all mm -hmm. these things that all of us desire to be mm -hmm. he has to experience them so the best way for him to experience it is for him to break himself off into all these particles mm -hmm. and experience life through us mm. so he is creating as we are creating as we are telling our jokes on stage and as we are riding our bikes and as we're thinking of new ideas and making music and all these beautiful things he's learning new things through our experience yeah so we put in game we we giving god game yes sometimes. yeah yes mamas. so to not value yourself I as a god Nigga, yeah i did god game and he give it back man we me and god be popping peas yeah so to not yeah, value yourself like as that. a god mm -hmm. is crazy because you are of God. You aren't God, but you are of God. For real. <laughs> no, for real. You I are giving exactly God. God was never a pimp in his first form. So he sent y'all to pimping in, in, in San Francisco or wherever you are in Oakland. the Bay Area. Bay Oakland. Area. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? About. Like <laughs> he wants to know every experience. So that's what we're here for. Damn. Okay, see. What's Matt? your initial? <laughs> see. Nah, yeah. you see M Jakes. CMJ. Hey, I see what you did there. Yeah. CMJ. I, get this. Yeah. I can just be Christina Mackey. <laughs> I'll just take Christina Mackey. You know what I'm saying? Nah, T D Jakes. I want to be me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know if I would want that kind of guy though. I want I want I want to have a purpose for it. If that makes sense. What do you mean? Meaning like that's that's kind of selfish to say. No, 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 <laughs> don't think, like, no, no, no. I don't want to be uh, being a personality for this nigga to figure out who he want to be. <laughs> what? I feel like that's he just amazing. just working for, uh, no, I, I mean, I think ultimately we're all working towards one thing, but I, I just, I like the idea of, I like the idea of re reincarnation. I like the idea of like having, you know. But you uh, never die if you live inside of God. You just get moved to the next moment. Yeah, that is working for a purpose. The purpose would be to for us all to remember who we are, and we're we're all. Well, of yes, God. that's that's what I that's what I love. Yeah, that's what I love. I love the energy. I love, I love feeling like again, reincarnation has been very open to me. Yeah. Um, but the different dimensions type stuff. Mm. That's where I'm like, I think all that stuff is dope. I think it's dope too, and I. Think I, I that, feel what you're saying. Yeah. I'm sorry to cut you no. off, but I I think that I when you say it like that, it's it's real. Yeah. I think I think what you're saying is dope, um, and I think that still stands. Yeah, yeah. I think like I'm not saying my theory is law. I'm just telling you that's really what I'm. I'm really stuck on that yeah. right now. Like yeah, I think yeah. about it all the time. That's like, dope. Though. When I'm quiet, I'm thinking about that the yeah. whole molecule thing blew my mind yeah. that shit is deep you said do you know that a, a that do you know that a rock is right here right this is a rock right that's some weed if you put, <laughs> shout out hot roller you <laughs> feel me that's yeah. some weed but this is a rock right uh -huh. it 
from outside. If you put this under a microscope and we have the right, correct technology and you break that open, it's movement. It's atoms moving yeah, in order yeah. to make it a rock. Yeah. So if you zoom out far enough, it's just a rock. But if you zoom in close enough, it's that nothing but movement. Oh, I yeah. see what you're saying. That's yeah. fire. You know what's crazy? I'm, I'm reading this book. I think it's the Celestine, Celestine Prophecy. Prophecy? I read it. Oh, okay. I'm on chapter one. It's great. But what I, I love is the them talking about the critical mass and where we're going and how, you know, it, it talks about we're in this transformation right now, like why relationships can't, are not working, um, friendship, relationships in general is because we're, we're in this phase of everybody's about themselves. Yeah. So everybody's demanding, like, you know, instead this of is for me, me, nobody's me, me. submissive, you know, it's like, yeah, I get you, but what about my trauma? And so mm -hmm. nobody's going like, I get that. I didn't know you would react that mm -hmm. way. This is my thing. Let's work it out. Everybody's like, yeah, but I, you know, boo, boo, boo. Um, and then it's talking about how we're going into this conscious that everyone is like kind of waking up and going to the same energy. So when everybody start asking the same questions, like what's the purpose of life and what's happening here, literally things are being revealed to us because of that. So more people are kind of forming the same consciousness at the same which, time, at the same time mm. which is bringing energy itself is just fucking amazing I in general. I literally made a video about that today and I said there's three choices in manifestation. You can manifest directly, mm -hmm. powerfully and <clears throat> assertively knowing exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. You can be very negative and say that you don't believe in mm -hmm. manifestation and that the world is against you mm -hmm. or you can think that you're not a creator subconsciously. Mm -hmm. Like you don't think about neither nor or and then the masses, their manifestation is pulling you in. Mm -hmm. So now you become a part of somebody else's manifestation mm -hmm. unintentionally, meaning if you're just some people like, I don't manifest, I don't do none of that. I just, I'm just going day by day. This ain't that and the world's small and it's nothing life outside of this. Mm -hmm. When you're friends, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say you think that way and you hang out with me mm -hmm. and I'm manifesting a big life for myself mm -hmm. and I'm telling you these stories and you're like, yeah, wow, great. Okay, cool. I'm putting my thoughts in mm -hmm. your mind and mm -hmm. now you're now manifesting what I need. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you're just a piece of the puzzle. Oh. You're not here nor there. You're just either or so you have three choices yeah you can be direct you can be negative and manifest negatively people think that you can't manifest negatively yeah, you can yeah. Sure very can. hard and you can keep falling you hit your toe in the morning you're like ah yeah yeah, fuck. yeah. and then that energy is expelled and then it's so on and so forth uh, or you can hang out with people who have big dreams and you just dang i wish i could think like yeah, that yeah and now you're giving her power you're sending me your power without even knowing it but at every moment in every day you're creating yeah. whether you want to acknowledge it or not mm -hmm. you're creating and you have the p power to create everything you want yeah but you have to be intentional and you have to say it like you mean it and you cannot <clears throat> use the word want yeah want to your brain mm -hmm. it's it's like you got to think of it like a computer you type in want what pops up want but if you say, I have, now the universe is like, oh, she says she has it. She believes she has yeah. it. She's moving like she has it. I have to give this to her. I have to rush and give it to her. I got to catch up to her. Versus saying, I want, you're forever going to want it. Okay, wanting, your manifestation is granted because you just said you want it. So yeah. here, want it. Want it. Go ahead. Yeah. Want, 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 want. All you want, want. Mm -hmm. But if you say, I have it, and you move with grace as if you have it, then that becomes. That's a fact. Yeah, fact, because that's like getting money. It's yeah. like, you know, if you're trying to get some money, you worried about the money, it don't come. No. But if you do the right things to get the money, and the money just comes. Yeah. Just flows. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mama. And you got to spend it, too, That'd be like tragic. you have it. That's yeah. what we were talking about last. Like, you really got to, like, when you, sometimes I used to be, like, my first round of college. Mind yeah. you, I went to college at 16. Now I'm back as an adult. Nice. So my first round of college, I used to be like, I want to go to the school Starbucks. And, you know, that shit is $6. Right. I'm like. Mm, I gotta pay my phone bill tomorrow. Don't go. Now I'm blocking my money from flowing effortlessly because I'm yeah. thinking I can't spend six dollars. If that's my last six dollars and I want Starbucks, get the Starbucks because now you're living in the life you want. Stop spending money nervously. Yeah, yeah. That's no ism in that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Spend your money. She wrote you know the magic saying? book too. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's yep. the gratitude book you're I just finished. Right. Oh, for and real? It, it, it shifts things. Uh, two things that I think is really funny. One, I used to, you know, 
put a lot on my wife. I used to, you know, complain about stuff, but I try not to complain on the outside. But I, you know, get home and just yeah, for sure. I, That's I, what I was your just like, for. yo, you know, boo, 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 boo. And one day she goes, uh, in my my morning time, I don't want to hear shit. I want to wake up. I want to meditate. I want to, you know, listen oh. to Michael Beth with. I I need my morning to be peaceful. Mm-hmm. And I got so mad. I was like, I was like, well, fuck it. I'm not gonna tell you shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like. But I was mad because this is like what I wake up to. I'm I'm dreaming and waking up in the middle of the night because I'm so anxious and I'm so worried about shit that people are probably not even thinking about anymore. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I, it took me to go, well, fuck you. I'm not saying shit else to having to make myself either go in my studio or leave the house right. to waking up going. I don't I don't wake up in the middle of the night too much anymore. I don't I, there's certain things that I don't do just because I stopped being so negative in the morning that shifted my day. Mm. That gratitude, I just finished it and I want to redo it again Damn. just because it literally like when you when you go from it, it you you got parts of it where it goes even if you say something negative, make sure you're saying something um behind it so in other words if i'm like yeah yeah if i'm sitting here like man fuck oh you know what i'm grateful that i met him even if you grateful that i met him so i know not to move to like fuck that with other Great exactly Great like job. stuff like that yeah. but I'm, I'm grateful and it's all the things you got to write 10 things down plus other things they start asking you to do but you got to write 10 things you're grateful for every day Damn, for, for 30 real? days have you tried the 369 for method? real i didn't try the three, three six, times nine. in the day Three, six, nine, six times in the evening, nine times at night for thirty days. No. Everything is yours. I'm listen. I, I when I tell you it's it's change. This this before I got into this, I remember. Um, you know, I have my my up days and bad days of like having money, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember. We all do. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is right. before, but I remember going. I remember going at a certain point, like, there's nothing I could do about it. I'm in this situation. So I say that to go. I remember uh, doing this show in New York, and they paid me, I think, uh, 2500 right? Mm-hmm. Um, was it 2500 or was it $1,500? Regardless, for the, for the purpose of the story, it was like, I think, $1,500. Um, that was my money to take care of back bills. Yeah. And I was sitting there, and I was just like, man, like... <laughs> I was I ain't have rent, I ain't have none of that. And I'm like out doing postmates and all this stuff. I remember coming home and the day rent was due, another check, same people, came in the mail. And I was sitting there going, damn, like should I cash this or they gonna try to take this shit back? Honestly it didn't even matter because at least the money's there until they go take it my back. money yeah, back, yeah, right? Yeah. But shit like that would happen anytime I go I, it is oh, nah, that shit rent, real. Rent is real. Yeah. Rent is here, and I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna work towards it. Yeah. I'm gonna do my postmate rides and stuff, but I don't have it all. But I never was like, I ain't got it. I just was like, well, I'm, I'm just in the situation. Ain't shit you could do about it. it and, and I ain't gonna lie, I just learned that. Yeah, I just learned that. Like shit, this year or damn near last year. Yeah, but I just learned that I'm a person that worry about shit I can't control. In life, I'm at this age, 29, where I'm yeah. learning things that shit I used to try to control didn't happen be, to me. And it's like, let me live more because I can't control life in a sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's raw that y'all saying that because a lot of people are probably watching this right now and thinking about shit. Yeah. They can't fully enjoy the episode because they thinking about yeah. some other shit. You know Man, what I'm saying? Listen, I, 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 we, we getting all deep and stuff, but it's, it's real. That's... Uh, it's it's a big thing of why I watch you know who I'm around and you know yes. the, the vibes, Company, I, the, yo, music, the, the music, the like, food, I, everything. Like I think about how many murders or gangbangs or s- certain things that happen, and it takes a real psycho person to not be on any type of drugs or liquor um, and other to go out and just kill niggas or do certain things. I I don't see somebody fully sober mm-hmm. or fully, you know, I'm talking about mentally right yeah, and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, your mental health even, off. Even without the music. Like, yep. you need, you can't go and just to drive by to some beautiful yeah. shit. You just can't. So even food? 
like you know the chickens are cooped up yeah yeah thousands and thousands of yeah chicken mamas in one spike. that got a lot to do with our they're energy they're stressed yeah they're hurting they're crying the death hurts yeah and then you turn around and, and eat we that eating meat. that shit and putting it in our body and then you wonder why you feel the way you feel that's why yeah. niggas be ready to smoke niggas nigga you didn't you done ate, 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 you you ate some Popeyes, and then you nigga. Eat, and then pop oh let's talk about that never mind <sighs> lewis Popeyes let me tell you so can i just tell you what's so funny about y'all uh, talking about the rat thing I know I'm oh. laughing because you're such a comedian. <laughs> Every time you get into some real life Deep. shit, he like, yeah, yeah but <laughs> nigga, I started to ignore the chicken it. got the yeah. wing like, this. yeah, oh, mamas, you know chickens don't come like this, and we're already eating this shit. That's why we ready to kill niggas. So we eating chicken wings that look like this. Yo, you're funny, I you but so that much. is facts. No, for real. So we <laughs> How did the up. chicken look? The chicken look like this. And you wonder why you were you ready to kill a nigga? Missing one leg? Yeah. Put you leg ate up. some shit that looked like this. And your body fucked up. You wasn't supposed to eat that. That's yeah. why you're ready to kill a nigga right yep. now. Yep. Yep. Oh, That's yeah. real. I would love to recommend a book, though. I am. You should read I am. I am. I am. Who's it, it by? Uh, I don't know his name, but oh, he is. Y'all look up these books. That too. book is good, good, good. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to do a punch to that. Right. Damn. I, so I tell fun. you about what I am. <laughs> I'm a pee. <laughs> I'm a pee and shit <laughs> all over this hermaphrodite. Oh, mama. I they am. Or uh, is it? Hold on. <clears throat> let me check my library. Hold on. Oh, all right. So, so this is how we going to end this episode. <laughs> they so deep into this shit. Yeah. This shit going to last for two hours. That we can do good. this shit all night. That got good. So good, look, good. this is what we going to do. While we, before we wrap it up, oh, y'all telling the book. The people, the people that's watching, y'all tell them the book they need to watch. They need the to be, watch? Watch or read? I mean read. The book they should watch, right? The okay, book they need to read. if you a lady and you looking for some, some ism, uh-huh. you need to read Steve Harvey's book, Act Like a Lady. Oh, f- oh get out. I ain't reading nothing. I ain't thing. reading that's that. That's the shit. What is that? Anyway, uh, I would say start with The Magic. The Magic is a gratitude Damn. book. Damn! Uh, 30 Days, really good. Y'all that's gonna do Steve Harvey like? The Magic. The Magic. It's okay. the same, same people that made The Secret. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I heard of that. Magic, yeah. Okay. I recommend y'all to read Captain Underpants. What? I'm just fucking with y'all. <laughs> That's the I'm last book up. you read while you being <laughs> funny. No, real talk. No, I think last book I read was, uh, well, damn, the actual book. I listen to a lot of audio books. Yes, that's great. That's qualified. So that yeah, I listened to it on Audible. It's called oh, One Truth. I fuck with Jay Prince shit. That's the last one I listened to the whole thing. Yeah. One One Truth, <laughs> like One Law. Donald Goins, nigga. Yeah, I yeah. am, I create. I am, I create. This is what it looked like. It better not be Steve Harvey. Oh, no. Yeah, that, other that Steve shit Harvey book bullshit. was good. That's for the I ladies. The, hey, it's the kind right. of kickback. Thank y'all so much, Shante. I appreciate you coming through this motherfucker. You feel me? Chop a game with us. This thug mansion. Feel me? You can come through this motherfucker anytime. Hey, man. All day. Can't wait to come back for some positivity. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hold Thank on. you so much. Christina, Louis Belt. Thank you. I love everybody.